What's up guys? We're back at the Park Performance Garage. It's another late night here and uh, we're gonna wrap up the segment on the blue light. This truck is a built motor. It's a 5.4 liter single overhead cam motor. It has a 2.6 liter Kenny Bell blower that has been given some issues to the, to the owner previously. We wanted to dig a little bit deeper. So what we've done now is we've gone through everything. So some of the things that we were able to do for this owner is we've, we've modified the PCV system. It previously had some janky uh, filtration system that was dumping back into the factory oil cap. It had a hole drilled in it. What we've done now is we've gone to a catch can here. This catch can is going to help him catch anything. He's running on E85 currently, so there's going to be a lot of moisture and vapor created. And when we had taken the blower apart, there was quite a bit of oil accumulation in the inlet and the elbow. Now with a proper vacuum, that should draw enough air. It should clean out that inlet and the elbow quite a bit. It's going to filter it here in the catch can and it's going to dump back into the PCV there. We went through, cleaned everything really well. We've gone through. The turkey pan has the 3 8 MPT plug, so that's got a full turkey pan delete now. We just knocked down some casting flaws that were in the inside of the inlet there. Uh, figure if you're gonna get the most out of the motor and the most out of the blower, you wanna have the smoothest airflow. This truck's making 20 pounds of boost, which is a considerable amount. And um, one of the things that's not visible is we've got a boost bypass valve on the back of the mid plate there. And with these large blowers, uh, cammed motors, um, you're not making enough vacuum, and so what's happening is the boost bypass is not operating correctly. Um, so shout out to Neil Otis, uh, lightning guru, good friend of ours. Um, he helped us uh, come up with some solutions, that being one. I believe that that was part of the issue creating the heat within the blower, which was causing the blower failures and the rotors to create um, contact with one another. He's got brand new spark plugs, fresh coolant, all Ford Motor Company factory coolant and the coolant side. When we took the injectors to Boost Lab, they were only flowing uh, approximately 800 and they should be a thousand cc's. So by taking them to Boost Lab, we were able to pick up about a 20% flow increase for him. And we replaced all of the O-rings on both the uh, injector tip and the injector back and also on the adapters. This truck does use adapters. So it has a thousand cc injectors and was only getting about uh, 800 out of them. So. Picked up some flow there, got everything cleaned up on that. The rails were all clean, and um, you should see a very big increase in power once we can get this thing retuned. So now this truck is done. She is ready to go back to her owner, and uh, this is the finished product. So that's it, guys. We're done with the Lightning. She's ready to go home. We'll get her retuned and sent back uh, to Mr. Duncan. And uh, so look, we, we just wanna say thanks, man. We've, we've really enjoyed your support. We appreciate your love. Um, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you haven't subscribed already, hit the subscribe button. Make sure you turn that little bell on, right? Um, and if you have any ideas, look, we're, we don't think that we have this all figured out, right? If you've got ideas, you wanna see something on the channel, you wanna see something specific, maybe you have questions about this build, drop a comment below, let us know. That's the only way we're gonna grow, is with you helping us get there. So thanks for tuning in and we'll see you next time.